Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. I, I am Laran and yes, uh, I look a little bit different or maybe I, I don't look different, but uh, yes, so this is my alternative character. And I'm gonna use that one today because they have made changes to the special fishing areas with the quests. And I thought it would be an excellent idea to show you these places without any game passes because I know the first video when I did those uh, together with the obbies and everything uh, things are easier when you have double sprint and yeah all the sort of benefits from game passes so we're gonna skip that they made a lot of different things to make life easier to some extent while yes to some others it might be harder and to cover the things that has changed. The biggest thing I believe is that they changed this progress with these special fishing areas to become single player experiences. What that means is anything that you do in your quest is saved to you and you alone. Earlier this was a multiplayer experience. If you did a quest everyone in the server was affected by it. So you could unlock this cave in Port Jackson, for instance. And when you did that, everyone could access it. Now, this has changed. So now when you do the quest, and if you want to even change the server afterwards, it is saved to your character. So I know there was a lot of confusion because there were people that did the quest. They have been struggling with the quests because it was difficult. And then they left the server, they entered a different server, and then they had to redo it again because uh, it was not saved to your character, it was saved to the actual server. So now any progress that you make in any special fishing areas or the SFAs will be saved to you and you alone. <laughs> However, it doesn't mean that you fish alone inside here, so you can still fish together with all the others. It's just that it's the quest progress that's locked to you, alright? So another thing that I noticed that they changed is that uh, this exit from Port Jackson, the SFA area, has now been visually blocked, which is good because... <laughs> I know when I started in Fishing Frontier, this was one of the first locations that I went to. I saw an opening and I couldn't get inside, but now it's visually blocked, so that's perfect. I like that change and I believe it's uh, good to people that is not used to Port Jackson that it actually is blocked. But we're gonna start with Port Jackson and this will be just like I did before. We're gonna start with Port Jackson. Next episode I will go down to Eruption Island, continue to Shadow Isle, move on to Ancient Shores and of course I will unlock it before I try to do it of course. Uh, Pharaoh Dunes uh, will be the last episode with uh, uh, the Pyramid. Another thing here is now also worth to mention is that the first time you do it it should be a little bit more things to do still gonna be less than it was before and after that once you have done this quest once it's gonna be more simplified so we're gonna actually do two runs into this special fishing area and compare what has changed so first step talk to Cody hi it's you again welcome to my hangout cave so yes uh, we have this mine cart that needs to be fixed we have the special fishing area inside so this is the crystal mines and we're gonna fix it of course by <laughs> grabbing some fishes 21 trouts so we're gonna fix it i did fish before i started to record so maybe i have 21 trouts let's see yes i do lucky me <laughs> saved me a little bit of time so we can talk to cody again and by the way if uh, you want to track a quest just uh, open up the map and you can uh, track it by click on the map so you have it uh, right next to you so you can always see where you gonna be heading next and there you also have this quest marker and uh, now we're gonna go inside so now it's gonna be simplified and we're gonna see what we need to do so we still need to remove this uh, blocked path and uh, we're gonna have to do the right obby this time it's gonna be the log and the barrel and apparently this uh, is randomized so it can be either one but I believe that uh, it's saved to your progress so if you leave now I think you're gonna end up with this same cave so it's not like you're gonna be able to move server because your progress is supposed to be saved 
So this is gonna be your challenge to beat. And you know what? Just to make sure <laughs> that I'm correct, I'm gonna swap server a few times just to verify this to see that it's not going to change because it this should be saved to your own character now so i'll be right back yes so i did a few jumps between servers and every single time i ended up with having to do this right side of the obby so we're gonna go with that and i do believe that uh, because it's saved to your character now this opening will not change until you have to redo it again. Then it might be on the left side. So we're gonna have to see that uh, a little bit later, hopefully. But uh, starting off with the log and the barrel. Difference now is that I don't have the twice sprint. So if you go into the store, I don't have this double sprint where you have the possibility to run twice as fast. But still you can always sprint. So if you hold down shift, you will run uh, or you will sprint i should say on mobile you have like a button of a running character i believe it is and uh, on uh, the xbox you have the button lt to press to run but it's as you can see this is the normal walking speed and this is the sprint speed so let's see how challenging this is uh, so it's gonna be unedited we're gonna see so yeah it requires a little bit of better timing uh, you need to stand closer to the edge, I believe. Reposition yourself a little bit faster. Plan a little bit ahead. And uh, as you can see, I, I try to move as close as I possibly can without actually falling down. And uh, yeah, we have crossed it. And we can pull the lever. And as we can also can see, it only required one obby now, so that is simplified. You, it's like uh, half half of the obbies, basically, one out of two. And we can go back, and we have unlocked this special fishing area for Port Jackson. <laughs> awesome. So that was run number one. And we're going to go for a run number two, of course, to compare uh, how much simplified it's going to be on the second attempt. Uh, I'm just gonna go to this special fishing area at the end, just to those that hasn't been here yet, just to show you all where it is. So we're gonna go with this minecart, full speed ahead, and the uh, track ends over here. And I will th be thrown out and be ending up in the water. And here we have it, the special fishing area. Just one fish, because I don't think I have taken anything from this special fishing area before. You're gonna see. Oh yeah, that worked. <laughs> it got stuck on the rod. And it's a trout. Is it? No, that's the blind cave fish. Ah, okay. That's a good test. It didn't show anything in the developer console. Yeah, alright. Uh, throw a spear and maybe try again. <laughs> okay, so that's a bad first attempt, I suppose. <laughs> We're gonna see. Can we get the fish, please? Here we go, janitor. Yes, a janitor fish. Perfect. And here is also the exit. And here we go. Now we can also see that this uh, obstacle is gone. And you can actually go back inside here. I don't think we could do that before. So that's actually also very good. Because I remember when I went out here. And I had to go back with the minecart and everything. So that's a good uh, enhancement <laughs> that I like. I'm going to use that a lot, or at least a few times. Something else to remember. When this timer is ticking down, it goes one hour. And uh, if you leave, the timer will stop. So you can basically leave anytime you want. And you can continue in this special fishing area whenever you feel like. So you don't have to redo the quest just because you left the server. And that, that is very good. Okay, so now it's time for round two. We have had this first SFA and it was closed and I had to wait a while. So I got the new quest pop up and uh, now we can choose quest available here again. And this will be the second round and we will see the difference. And we can already see actually the difference. Now it doesn't seem like I have to talk to Cody anymore, meaning that I don't have to collect any more fish. That is awesome. That, that's actually really good. That's a relief. 
and oh yes we are super lucky this time so round number two we're gonna go to this first obby the left one so let's go inside and have a look yes and this might be the difficult obby i believe because uh, yeah first time i did this sfa i wasn't aware of that <laughs> these uh, lily pads they could actually sink i was just running through it like i do with everything so what happens is when you stand on it, it sinks and it resets you back to the beginning. But I also believe that this first jump is the hardest one on this entire obby. So I think it's uh, even though this one is difficult, I'm still very happy that it's the first one. Because just imagine if that was the last one instead. So you had to do the entire obby and then do this tricky lily pad then it will be much more difficult and well <laughs> to pass this one without uh, the twice sprint game pass we're gonna see how that goes first attempt i'm gonna try to make a double jump so i'm gonna jump touch the leaf and i'm gonna jump again and from here somewhere i'm gonna jump over see how that goes that didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try again. That was close, so I could pass. Uh, so it's very tight. I can see that right away. So if I run, yeah. I can understand why people feel like it's difficult. But you have this ledge, you can reach that fairly easy. We're gonna do this a couple of times. But really, you can't do the jump from up here, because if you do that, I don't really think you're going to be able to reach. So you need to reach as far as possible on the lily pad when you reach it. Otherwise, I think you might be in trouble. But I do think also that if you make this double jump, so directly when you touch the lily pad, you jump directly again. I think that that is a pretty good solution if you think this is difficult and we continue uh, and here we just have to touch it uh, just once very quick so i don't really think that's a difficult part uh, this one i actually failed once because i didn't really see a water line here so i was touching this part and uh, that made me reset. It's a fairly long jump, but uh, yeah, as long as you sprint, shouldn't really be a problem. And uh, then we only have one lily pad left. I would suggest that you aim for the right part of this lily pad so you don't end up close to the center. And then you have reached the lever. And that's how you do it. So now the SFA part is much quicker in Port Jackson. You saw run number two, just one obby. That's all. Sure, it can be difficult. This first jump can be difficult. I fully understand and I agree. But uh, it's. Uh, I would advise you to do this double jumping and uh, position yourself as close as possible to the water so you get as far up on the lily pad on uh, this first touch and you should be able to go over. I will also actually try to walk one time so you need to keep it on the right side of the lily pad. But as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's just a matter of practice. And you need the right timing, you need to learn the timing. Uh, one other thing also, of course, if there are more than one person here, let the other person jump first, or if you decide to try to jump first, because otherwise two persons jumping on one lily pad, <laughs> that's not gonna work. It's just gonna be chaos. So try to avoid that. Uh, that will save you a lot of struggle, I promise. But I wouldn't mind if they could add just a fraction of a say tenth of a second or something more 
on the lily pad so you get a little bit more time <laughs> to do this jump because it's tight it's really tight and if you're gonna do that on a mobile that's gonna be tough it's gonna be really tough well in any case that was all i had for you today if you do have any questions and comments about this please put them below like this video if you would like to see more content from fishing simulator please subscribe and yes have a nice day <laughs> bye everyone